What is up guys? It's Game Storms here and I'm bringing you some Pokemon Hard Gold version. It's an emulator. It's my favorite Pokemon game and I cannot wait to get this started. So let's start right away. Make sure I should have actually made sure all the controls are right. But they should be. I don't need any info. Dot dot dot. Hmm, look. Looks like the sun is descending in the sky. So this would be, what is it called? Twilight? Wouldn't it? Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by the creatures known as Pokemon. I thought I didn't need to learn anything. Why am I doing this? We humans live al alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Well, that's a tricky question. I'm trying to figure that out myself. So, I'm a boy. I'm a boy, I, I, I guess. So you're a boy then? Yes, yes. I think I think so. Please tell me your name. Okay. Well, we're gonna go with. Wow, there's not many. Then we're just gonna go with storms. There's not many names. Your name is Storms. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Storms, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Here we go, people. Entering the world of Pokemon. Alright. In my house. I hope I got running shoes early, because I haven't played this game in a long time. Hi, Storms. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Allen, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have the, everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Thank you. This is your trainer card. I need identity. Here, you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in t no time. Well, I can't touch my screen. I wish I had a touch screen computer, but I can't, so... Thanks, Mom. Let's go to options right away. And I'm gonna change up tech speed to fast. Battle scenes, I'll keep. Confirm. Alrighty. Let's get this game on the road. This is my first time ever recording something like this on a computer. So, hopefully the video can come together really nice. It's a Meryl! Meryl, Meryl! I guess that's that Lyra girl that's playing with the Meryl. Um, like I said guys, this is just the first time I just downloaded OBS for this, so. Do we have, do we go in the lab first? And I already have my team worked out of who I'm gonna choose and whatnot. Hi Storms, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days, but before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball? See if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people. The device over there has a Pokemon you could choose from. Well, well, well. Let's get this going. Oh, hey! I got an email. Um, uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy. so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go to in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. I already made my decision. 
Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon is inside. No. This is my favorite one right here, Totodile. He is by far my favorite out of these starters. But, unfortunately, Cyndaquil is going to be for this playthrough. Nice little Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire type Pokemon? Yes, I will. Storms received Cyndaquil from Professor Elm. Let's get this shit going. Give it a nickname. I don't know. Yeah, we'll give it a nickname. Ooh, yes, good. We have... Hopefully I can fit the name that I just thought of. Um, what is it? Uh, okay. We're going with Torch Stick. I actually, whatever, it doesn't matter. I ain't, I ain't gonna lowercase them. Oops. Is Torch Stick the name you want to give? Yes, it is. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take them all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Yeah. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Storms. Well, you don't need to count on me. <laughs> Nerdy guy here. Storms, I want you to have these to help me with your task. Obtain the potions. Thank you. Pokemon are weak at the beginning. Don't hesitate to use Pokemon. Oh, to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Thanks. Thanks, nerdy scientist. Ah, uh, here's, here's this chick. So much talking. Storms! So you picked a Cyndaquil? That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Damn right I'm gonna show it to my mom. I'll try not to curse that much in this playthrough, because I curse a lot. <coughs> Mother! I'm home. Oh, Storms! That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from a repair shop. Here you go. Poke Gear. I won't use it at all. As it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yes, I freaking do. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just look when to give him or her a call. Well, I can't believe it. It's so easy to, to make a phone call. What do you, you ask me these things, like, I, you ask me, oh, do I know how to use it? And then I say, yeah, and then you freaking tell me how to use it anyway. So why ask me, if you're just going to tell me anyway? Wait, wait one second. I almost forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. So I'll register Pokemon in the Pokegear. Woo woo. I'll call you if anything comes up. <coughs> Here we go. On our adventure. With the little old Cindy. Dun, 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 dun. But, okay. This is... This is probably my, um... I want to talk about the game a little bit. This is probably my favorite Pokemon game that's been released. I know it's a remake of Gen 2. But... I've... I don't know. I just love this game. I love... The generation of this Pokemon, first and second generation, are by far my favorite when it comes to actual Pokemon. But this game, I what I think catches me so much on this game is that your the person, the Pokemon that's the head of your team, can actually follow you around, and I love that factor. Like I own, I usually buy both of every Pokemon game that comes out, so I have Soul Silver and Heart Gold. But. You know, I I can't record it on my DS because I'm not buying a capture card for my DS to play it. So I got a ROM and an emulator. But I've probably beaten these games 
what, 13 or more times I've probably beaten this, this gen of game. That's how many times I've played through. Because it's just amazing. And I like the fact of that after you get the first eight badges and beat the Elite Four, there's another eight badges that you have to get from Gen 1, which I like. I wish they would have added a bit more to the, to the Gen 1 region, but it's whatever. Like I said, I already have the Pokemon that I'm going to capture picked out. So by the time... What? I think... By the time I get to the third gym, yeah. By the time I get to the third gym, I will already have my full team. So that's really good. But, and on my DS, I've played this so many times. I have like 44 actual level 100s of me actually just training. Just facing the four over again. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. Okay, then. Follow me. You didn't ask me if I wanted you to teach me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is this way. Trainers will be battling their po Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Such an implied that that's where I'm going. And that's the right way to go. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here, it's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. Storms receive the running shoes. The instructions read, touch the sprint button on the touch screen. This is a hold B down. Yeah, but I hope I don't have to actually hold B down. I hope, oh shit, shit. I actually have to, um, Oh god. I have to hold B. Like I understand that. Damn, I have to hold B the whole entire game. Okay. Oh, the old guy again. Hoof, hoof, I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token for me. Take it. The guy jet loaded the map card on Storm's Pookie gear. I guess I didn't have to say it in that voice. Whatever. Yeah. Oh shit, uh, whatever. I didn't read it. Not important anyway. I'm not gonna be talking to most people. I know this game pretty well. There might be a few things that I forget about because it's been a long time since I've actually played it. But it's whatever. Okay. Rain to the battle here. Tackle on the Caterpie. Of course, you gotta eliminate him. Oh, good. Nice crit. I wish I didn't waste that crit yet. It would have nice to even have a crit when I face my rival. Even though I know I'll beat him. I think it's like a 95% chance you're gonna win. And there's like a 5% chance that you're gonna lose against your rival the first time. Well, I mean, if I didn't heal up, I could lose. But at full health. Okay. We'll get the... I guess we'll get the berry pot. Because I don't... I, there's actually really no point. But I'll get it. Um, when it comes to non-important people, I'm just going to read the dialogue in normal voice. Because I'm not... I And first off, I'm not even going to remember all the voices for all the characters I already read. But still. Looking for Mr. Pokemon's house, you did mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of these trees too. Apricorns are really something you can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling that this is meant to be. I'm so happy that I'll give you this. I obtained the apricorn box. With the apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns, you'll be a decent apricorn collector. Boom. Let's get our first apricorn. 
even though we probably won't use them. I actually probably won't even collect them throughout the playthrough because all right, I'll have my six Pokemon early on. We're almost there. Not really. But I've played, I've played this game so often that I have 44 level 100s or something around there from playing so often. And I like, so the team I already chose, yeah, I do have some of them level 100 on my actual DS, which kind of sucks because, you know, on my DS version, I play differently. You must be Storms. It was who I, it was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. A friend of mine from Ecritique gave it to me. I bet you can find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what it, this is. He's the best when it comes to research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. He said, that's the famous quote from Professor Oak. Professor Oak standing right down there. <laughs> this music, though. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So here's Storms. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running on an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You would treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Good Pokedex. Even though it doesn't matter, because I already have my Pokemon. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Storms, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. The exchange over just to be on the safe side. Storms, where's your Professor Oak? Do, 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 do. Are we good? Yes, okay. All right, let's continue on our journey. Because the way I play, and on the yeah, he's already calling us. Hello, storms. It's a disaster. Um, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It. Oh no! Please get back here right now. Click. <laughs> it's it's bad because on the DS, I play with like. Since I know what I want to play, and I have all the Pokemon. Well, I don't have every Pokemon caught, but I have the Pokemon that I want to use caught. And bred out into level ones, so I just trade over to the game, but I can't do that on this because it's on the computer. But that wouldn't be a legit playthrough anyway. But I'm just I'm glad that I actually figured this out, figured out how to use OBS, which isn't really hard. But I had to figure out more editing wise because. I wanted to make sure I, that I knew how to edit certain things on when I was finished making the videos. So, took me a little time. Didn't take me much time. But sorry as I haven't been posting lately, guys. I haven't been feeling the best. Most of the time, like, uh, I'm short of breath. So, I think it's, I have like a lung infection. So, that's why I've just been avoiding making videos, just because all the talking, I don't want to get short of breath, and then cough a lot more. So, sorry for that. I'm still not over it, but I at least I have to make some videos each week. I can't just ignore this. 
I like doing this and it's, it's fun getting to actually make videos. Uh, what's this? Who's this red-headed bastard? You got a Pokemon at the lab! What a waste! That's Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you! Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. You ain't crap, boy. You're about to get effed up. Bring it! Oh, look at that! My favorite Poke shows. Well, it ain't my favorite Poke. <coughs> Uh. Oh, Leer, you're gonna lower my defense like a little baby? Keep on doing that. I bet you won't win doing that. Just keep doing Leer. Come on, yeah. I'll just tackle your ass into the ground. We'll play this like it's football. That's what we'll play. One more hit and you're done. Ooh, ooh, one more hit and I'm done. Yeah, 70 XP, baby. Level seven. Let's go. Woo! Player defeated passerby. Huh? <laughs> Are you happy you won? Five hundred dollars is mine. That's yeah, I'm happy I won. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Give it back! That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name! What are you gonna do? <laughs> Whoops, wrong way. Okay. Sorry guys, if there's any silent parts, it's because I'm coughing, and I'm editing it out, because, I mean, you guys don't need to lose your ears from, like, loud, loud coughing. So, that's that. We're on our way back to the lab. OBS is freaking out over here. It's freezing up. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. That is so dumb. That is the dumbest rule I've ever seen. Hold on a sec. He has nothing to do with it. I'm oh, sorry, this is a female. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did. What should we make his name? Screw it. We're making the manliest name. Butch. Mr. Butch. Okay. I see, so Butch was his name? Thanks for helping my investigation. My next time is to search for this red-haired individual. Storms! I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. Storms, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what the secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Oh, Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Storms, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Storms, I knew we were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you. So why 
Don't you take the Poke Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League. Champion or not, ha. Huh? Become the champion is not all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Storms challenge the gym scattered all around. It will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. All this talking to my mom. Well, I understand. She is my mother. Mom! Mom, I'm home again. So you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you want me to save your money for you? No, I don't, actually. Okay, but be careful out there. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on, 